Mix by the Morning Show, 10 minutes after the hour, y'all. Good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. I'm your girl, Eva Marcel, here with your top news stories. So the attorney for the family of Ahmad Arbery announced yesterday that the FBI is now officially investigating his death as a hate crime. Also, after first saying two black men kidnapped her nine-year-old son, a mother in Florida finally confessed to killing him by pushing him into a canal. So sad. In other news and in a coronavirus update, the U.S. is getting close to 100,000 deaths from the coronavirus pandemic. And a new independent research reveals that more than 20,000 African Americans have died from the coronavirus. Blacks are 2.4 times more likely to die from the disease than whites. Kansas is actually the worst state where blacks are seven times more likely to die than whites. Keep your hands clean. Keep washing up. Stay at home. All right. That was a quick look at your headline news. For more stories, log on to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.com. Found out on Friday. Basketball legend Patrick Ewan tested positive for the coronavirus. Any updates? Yep. Yep. Good news, man. Georgetown Hoyas men's basketball coach, former NBA great Patrick Ewing, is out of the hospital after his coronavirus diagnosis. He's at home recovering and getting better. So keep him in prayer right there. In the meantime, Floyd Money Mayweather uh, allegedly hit up an Arizona nightclub over the weekend. It was packed full of people. No social distancing. Nobody was wearing masks, including Floyd Money Mayweather. So, um... The state of Arizona is like, listen, we uh, we 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 wide open with this bad boy. It is what it is. I think they their death toll is up to like seven hundred ninety nine, like eight hundred people, pretty much. So that's kind of scary to see that, but we'll see what happens, man. Last but not least, Tiger Woods and Peyton Manning teamed up to defeat Tom Brady and Phil Mickelson in a charity golf match over the weekend and raised over twenty million dollars for coronavirus relief. So uh, hey, keep doing awesome. what you're doing. Yeah, that was that was phenomenal right there, man. And Tom Brady got game, man. I got to tell you, got game on that golf course. It is what it is. All right, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Rock T. Let's talk sports. Gary, with the T, what you got there, Mike? All right, everybody's talking about Kim Kardashian West. Y'all, they're saying, honey, that she's one of the best eaters in the country. They're saying that her fast food artists all have an unconventional condiment in common. Now, it's been reported, y'all, that Kim Kardashian, when she goes to McDonald's, KFC and in and out Burger, they're saying there's one specific thing that she must have on her food, and everybody's raving about it. They're saying she got to have honey. Now, they're saying, y'all, that when Miss Kim goes to McDonald's to get her chicken nuggets, she says she dips her um, chicken nuggets in honey. Nobody is doing that, and it's one of the best things to do and have to eat. And they're saying when she goes to, um, to her, um, in and out burgers, she got to have honey on her burgers. And when she go to this place called Starbucks, they're saying that she said that there's a particular drink that you got to have, but she said it must be the small one. Now, um, Eva, you might like this. She said a small size soy chai latte. Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> a she soy said, chai latte. Yeah, you said it right. Yeah, latte. She said, she said oh, the <laughs> smallest size white chocolate mocha with whipped cream. She, yes. said, if, she said if it's not small, it is not good. She said, "You got right, to." That's have what the you and I drink. That white chocolate mocha. That's our drink. But is that? I mean, but why got to be small to make it so much good? I mean, it, it just makes me feel so you guilty. The... What'd you say, Ricky? Yeah, it's more powerful when you sit on the toilet. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, it's like a tired pod. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so that, that little powerful push, <laughs> the explosion. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's what, it, that's what well, it's for. Well, she said that's the best one, honey. So I guess everybody got to go rush out and get it. But I, let's be honest. I put honey on my chicken nuggets. That ain't nothing new. But I guess coming from her, it, it makes it a wonderful thing. Then. So, But anyway, congratulations, <laughs> honey, to Kim, honey, and, and, and her condiments and all that stuff. Honey, it's going to change the world now. So let's watch it happen. <laughs> all right. The Kahlua today, honey, is one of my favorite Kahlua's. My Kahlua today is camel. On the high end, you say camel. On the low end, you say beautiful brown. That's your Kahlua today. Why couldn't it just be camel, though? Why? Rick, oh, uh-uh. Oh. Uh-uh. You know, I can't say that. Oh. That's against my Why not? Yes, we can Camel man, toe. them folks sleep, man. Oh, the say color today is camel toe. <laughs> on the high end, you say camel toe. And on the low, you say brown. That's your color for the day, honey. All right, now, Fred, what's going on with Sweet Sweet and Tim? I heard they're about to be broke, child. Broke? No, they just turned down millions of dollars. I'm going to tell y'all all about it in the hot spot. Coming up next on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. <laughs> the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.